So I've gotten this a lot and it's how do berries work in Pokemon Go. So let's go ahead and jump into what each berry does and how you can use them. So first off, the raspberry is the most common berry. You can find it in research tasks, field research tasks, just simply spending Pokestops to go ahead and events and tickets to just your buddy will bring it to you if it does have a high enough friendship level. What it does is actually gives you a better chance to catch the Pokemon that you're wanting to catch. What that means is typically if you do need to catch something that's more of a rare on the side, you would throw a gray ball or an ultra ball to go ahead and help you catch it. Now, if you do use a raspberry, you do heighten your chance. So you may not have to use that ultra ball or the great ball to go ahead and catch Pokemon that, you know, you typically would. You can go ahead and use a Pokeball and save your special balls, yet also gives you a better chance to catch. Next up is the Napa Berry. This is a berry that I honestly just delete every time I get it. I don't use it. Let me know if you use it because I'm very interested. I don't, I don't really see a use for it. What this berry does is besides taking up bag space, it actually stops Pokemon from consistently jumping around. If you can't get a Pokemon to go ahead and get in a ball, as if you're throwing it and it's knocking it away, you actually can throw this and it'll make it sit still so you can get those excellent, those great balls, the good throws to go ahead and catch it. It's good for like Team Go Rocket Pokemon, I guess, to go ahead and catch it, makes them sit still so they don't move. That's the best way I can describe this one. I don't use it. Let me know if you use it. I'm interested to see if people are actually using these. I don't have a use for it at all. Now a pineup berry is the next one. And this one is actually has some of the best use here in the game. And all honesty, the pineup berry gives you more candy per Pokemon. So if you throw a pineup berry at it, it actually goes ahead and gives you more candy for it, which is huge because if you do one, need to get candy to go ahead and do that evolution, i.e. maybe a timber on calm day like we had, just to conk Helder. So you need a full evolution line. Was it like 225, 250? That's a lot. Not a lot show up in the wild. So on a calm day, you want to stack up on those candies. Well, you throw a pineapple berry at it. It gives you double candy, which is amazing. No, like that's amazing. But also there's actually a little thing you can do. Back in the day, Pidgey was like, the go-to XP candy gain Pokemon. So what you would do is you actually just throw these at it, get a bunch of candies. So then you can do a bunch of evolutions. Whatever Pokemon's common around you, you can actually go ahead and use pineapple berries to go ahead and just rack up candies for it. And then pop a lucky egg and then just mass evolve them. Since you have so much candy, you're just gonna keep getting evolution XP, which is amazing. You're not gonna run out of candies. Best way to use it here. Honestly, best berry to go ahead and use to level up and uh, power up your Pokemon because just candy gains are immense with this. You're just flooding with it. Now there is a silver pineapp berry, which is more on the rare side, only coming in like special events, special quests, a little bit harder to get. Honestly, it's the rarest berry that I have. I don't have a lot of these, but the silver pineapp berry is something you kind of want to throw for some legendaries for Pokemon that are harder to catch, yet also give you like, maybe they're hard to catch and they give you good Stardust gains, something like that, maybe a rare costume Pokemon if it is shiny. But a Silver Pineapple Berry will give you a combination of a Raspberry, so the standard Raspberry gives you a better catch rate and a Pineapple Berry, so giving you more candy. It is rarer, but it does go ahead and double as two berries instead of one, giving you a better catch rate and giving you more candy gains. So definitely don't overlook that one. You can use it in some legendaries if you wanna get some candies, but there is sometimes a better berry to use in those legendaries. Now the golden raspberry is the top candy essentially, or the top berry, because it does give you a better catch rate. Unlike the raspberry, the golden raspberry is essentially a double that. So if a raspberry, so if a typical catch rate is a one time, so standard a raspberry will give you a 1.5 times now what that means is you got a half a times chance to go ahead and catch it better now a golden raspberry is essentially a two times catch so a golden raspberry is actually just going to give it give you a better catch rate no matter what than any other berry high use for these is against the legendaries 
you take down a legendary or a mega or a mythical, go ahead, throw one of these at it. It's going to help you catch the Pokemon even easier and not have to worry about, am I going to catch it? Am I going to run out of Pokeballs? What's going on? It'll give you the best catch rate possible. Now, will you catch it? That's still up to the game to decide, but you do go ahead and better your odds of being able to catch it when you do use this berry. Now, that's not all what berries are for is catching and go ahead and give you more candies. The best things to go ahead and use them for as well outside of just simply catching Pokemon is defending gyms. So you put your Pokemon in the gym, which, you know, you want to go ahead and get those free 50 Pokecoins for your Pokecoin dailies. The problem with that is you need your Pokemon to sit there for at least eight hours. What that means is if somebody comes along and knocks you out, you're not really gonna max out for the day. You can go ahead and give your guy berries or everything that's in that gym berries to go ahead and stay in the fight. Best way to use this is A, you can go ahead and use normal berries, doesn't matter, levels it up to a cap and then that's it. If you use a golden raspberry, what that does is actually go ahead and maximize your health or your HP for your Pokemon. It jumps right back up to max, doesn't have a limit anymore, and just goes right back to fighting with one berry. The other ones takes multiple. The golden raspberry only uses one, which is a really nice touch. It is a rare berry that only comes in raids, so be on the lookout for that. It's the higher tier raids that normally give them as well. So if you have plenty of them, you can go ahead and use them in that way. If not, then you are gonna have to, you know, Go ahead and use those simpler berries to go ahead and do the job. Now on the flip side, you do have buddies now and buddies do take berries as well. Now you may know that you can give a buddy a poffin and you're gonna double your hearts. You can go ahead and throw three berries to it and that's a one feed. And then after a while, you're gonna need to do another one because you have three daily. So you're gonna need roughly nine berries for a day, which is nine raspberries or three golden raspberries. So golden raspberries are useful in helping gyms, helping your buddy, helping you catch Pokemon, the higher tier Pokemon like legendaries. You know, they are a little bit rare, a little bit more uncommon. So that is something to look out for there. Some of the best berries just overall in the game is going to be that pineapple berry, the golden raspberry and the raspberry. That's what I use a lot of golden raspberries from raids, raspberries, pineapple berries from like everyday activities simply spinning Pokestops to friendship gifts, everything like that. They're gonna be the big ones to go ahead and take advantage of, but that is gonna be all the berries and how they can be used. If you want more guides on individual things that go on in Pokemon Go, let me know in the comment section down below. I had a lot of comments about this one, so I went ahead and go ahead and break down how the berries work and the best ones to kind of use. But if there is something that you're interested in seeing, it might be the next video. So go ahead and let me know down in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.